regarding um, divine wars, God asking Israel to go against other nations and, and, and kill them, I asked Dr. Paul Copin this question. I said, why the necessity in the Old Testament for so much of these apparent holy or divine wars? Why? Why did Israel have to do so much killing? Here's what he had to say. We'll be right back. When we hear the term holy war, we think of Islamic jihad. We often think about uh, categories in which uh, terrorism abounds, where there is this, uh, you know, this uh, ruthlessness that is utterly unjustified. But is that actually what we see going on in the Old Testament? No, actually what we see is God often patiently waiting. Uh, for example, when it comes to the Canaanites, the, God told Abraham that uh, his descendants would have to wait. Uh, there would be a 400-year waiting period, he says in 8 Genesis 15, for the sin of the Amorites, a Canaanite people, for the sin of the Amorites to be filled up. That is, God you know, is not ready to bring judgment upon the Canaanites. The sin had not, been, had not reached full measure for judgment to fall. And so God waited to bring judgment upon the Canaanites, but it was something that would, uh, would, was when the time was ripe. So, so when there is a, quote, holy war or a, 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 a divine war that God initiates, it is because people are in need of judgment. And again, this is not as though it's only unique to people who are outside of Israel. No, God brings judgment on Israelites as well. God brings holy war, so to speak, to Israel for disobeying, for uh, rebelling against God and so forth. So the holy wars that we see you know, in the Old Testament, first of all, there's a, there's a lot under the surface, and I won't go into it right now, but what we see are uh, more like disabling raids against certain peoples to disable their uh, central uh, you know, military, religious and political uh, power so that Israel can come into a land to be set up for the coming of the Messiah who would eventually bring redemption to all the nations of the world, including Canaanites. So it is a temporary judgment that falls upon a certain people for a purpose that God you know, again, has a dual purpose in mind, not only judgment, but also paving the way for establishing Israel so that there would be a coming of the Messiah, so that redemption would reach the ends of the earth in fulfillment of the promise to Abraham when God told Abraham that in you and your offspring, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. 